Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and today I am going to give you a diet on how to prevent and treat fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. These things have already been explained by me in a previous video. So if you haven't watched that video, go and watch that first. And as always, all my videos are directly referenced from the internationally accepted US National Medical Library. So you can trust the information. So today, I'm going to discuss how you can prevent and how you can treat these conditions by your diet exercise, portion size, and a healthy weight. So let's start. The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information, or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. So guys, if you don't have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, fatty liver or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, then this advice, this diet, so you may be able to prevent these conditions by eating a healthy diet, by limiting your portions, by maintaining a healthy weight. And if you do have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NASH, what is recommended for you is first is to lose weight. That is the first thing. Right. If you are overweight, if you are obese, then that is your treatment, losing weight. If you are not overweight, then that's a different thing. Still, your diet can help. So your doctor will obviously suggest you to cut down fats, right? which is the baseline thing to prevent or treat uh, NASH or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now, why are that bad? Why are fat bad? Because fats are high in calories as compared to uh, carbohydrates or proteins, right? Uh, fats, one gram gives nine calories and whereas carbohydrates and proteins, they give four calories. So if you eat a lot of fat, then your chances of increasing your obesity and increasing your fatty liver will increase. So there are four basic type of fats, saturated fats. These are found in meat, poultry, skin, butter, lard, they are in all types of dairy products except for the fat free versions and the second type of fat is trans fats. These are very bad. These are found in foods that are listed as hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated. These are found, trans fats are basically found in all the packaged fruit, in all the packaged food such as crackers, snack foods, commercially baked goods like cookies, cakes, fried foods such as donuts and french fries, all the foods which are labeled, they don't write trans fat, they might write zero trans fat, but still, right, they have trans fat, trans, still, they can have 0 0.5 grams of per serving of trans fat and that's why they need to write and you need to look for the label for partially hydrogenated this word partially hydrogenated oils if they are used hydrogenated if the oil is used then that product has trans fats it's not good for you then the third is mono saturated fat these are good fats found in olive oil, they are found in peanuts and in canola oils. And then polyunsaturated fats, these are the uh, found in, these are found in the greatest amount in uh, corns, soya beans, sunflower oils and many types of nuts, right? Omega-3 fatty acids, which are basically one of the essential fatty acids, these are a type of polyunsaturated fatty acids and omega-3 can be obtained from nuts, walnuts, salmons, flax seeds, right, and chia seeds, many other things, fishes, of course, fish oils. So these are the four types of fats which you need to remember, saturated, trans, mono, and polyunsaturated, and then omega-3s. 
So what you need to do, you need to replace all the saturated and trans fats in your diet with mono and polyunsaturated, especially omega-3 fatty acids. This transition decreases your chances of developing non-alcoholic fatty disease, developing heart disease, obesity, NASH, and if you have them, it decreases chances of complications, decreases your, you know, uh, disease progression and helps you in recovery, right? This is first step. This is the first basic step. The second step is decreasing your carbohydrates because carbs are the basic large quantities which you have, which we take on a daily basis. So you need to eat more low glycemic index food. Glycemic index is the amount of carbohydrates which are present in the food, right? The more, the higher the index, the more sugars. Glycemic index is the index of carbohydrate saturation of a food product. The higher the glycemic index, the more the sugars, carbohydrate amount in the foods. So you need to eat more low glycemic index foods like fruits, vegetables and whole grains. So these foods basically affect your blood sugar less as compared to high glycemic foods. High glycemic foods are white rice, uh, white breads, potatoes, right? So you need to replace these high glycemic foods with low glycemic food and obviously you have to avoid simple sugars. You have to avoid uh, and drink. You avoid foods and you have to avoid foods and drinks that contains large amount of simple sugars, especially fructose. Fructose for that matter is found in sweetened beverages, soft drinks, sports drinks, sweetened teas and juices. So juices are not good. Juice rather than juices, eat fruits. Fruits are much better because juices can have added sugars, right? Then you need to avoid alcohol, right? Heavy alcohol use by itself can damage your liver. And in addition to that, if you have fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver, then that's an issue. The most biggest thing here is to lose weight. And understand that you have to count your calorie intake and the burn and and the amount of calories you are burning because that's how you will lose your weight. That's how you can get rid of the fats deposited in the liver because of alcohol or without alcohol, right? Fatty liver has to be used. So use your fats, burn them into energies. Eat less fats and carbohydrates, drink normal amount of protein, have normal amount of protein required to maintain the muscles and exercise. So healthy weight maintenance, eat small limited portions of uh, meals divided in multiple small meal schedules throughout the day, drink a lot of water and stay away from alcohol and tobacco, smoke for that matter. So this is the basic treatment of, this is the basic or basics. These are the basics. There is nothing more than this in the diet management of alcoholic liver disease. This of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NASH. So I hope you like the video. Uh, there is not... Don't forget to hit... Don't forget... To subscribe and hit the bell icon and don't forget to share this video. I'm Dr. Paramjeet. I'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital, Nairunagar Delhi NCR. And you're watching Doctor Education. Till next time, stay connected, stay healthy.